Let's go talk to Cleaver first. I think he's around this area somewhere, right? Well, we don't really have to guess if we just make it our primary objective here. And I guess while we're here anyway, yeah, we want to sell the swords we have, right? Huh. Huh. Oh, hey, this one's actually better. The damage is the same, but the, um, the percentages and the additional stuff. Okay. Looks a little bit cooler, too. Anyway, I was gonna say that we should visit the, the armorer here so we can sell that stuff right as well. What's going on here? We get a bonus for working in piss poor weather. Just a bunch of witch hunters staying here for no reason. Top notch swords. Sure, sure. Show me what you have in stock. Now that it's um now that we don't have sleeves anymore, whenever it rains, Geralt's arms are shiny and stuff. I guess I'll keep these. Yeah, the relic ones. They have cool names and all. Menna blade. No, that's fine. Just don't want to accidentally sell my Witcher swords again. Although I'm, I think they're in my stash now, so that's not going to be a problem anymore. For these ones, yay! We don't have to wear anything that's ugly. I mean, I don't know how to feel about this set right now, but at least it's a Witcher set, right? It's what Witchers are expected to wear normally. As opposed to the random stuff that we wore quite a while ago. So long. Cleaver is right behind us. Convenient. Take a gander over here. What? Uh, hold on. No. No. Ah, uh, I remember we have to wrap back some weird way to get to Cleaver, right? Because we had the same Ugh, this problem God last time. Damn this weather. How do we Get, oh, I think we have to wrap back here. Here, there's a bunch of bandits during the mm. night time, but if we go around oh, this way... Of rain. There's a place where, if you go inside, you'll see a whole bunch of dwarves. That's where we're supposed to go. Here. Everyone's gone because it's raining. Hey, Cleaver. Thanks for the invite. Congratulations. Quite the winner, the Vagal Buds. Luke's one hell of a prick, but I don't recall him ever losing before. And seeing as you outran him, you actually stand a chance at Paleo. Make some real coin. Paleo? Never heard of it. Fuck me, what a peasant. <laughs> the Paleo's a race held at night in the city streets. Used to be every district sponsored a competitor. Things are different now. You're gonna race jockeys put forward by Bedlam and Reuven, but my coin's on you. Ah, this is like um illegal street racing, medieval style. <laughs> okay. Don't know if I want you to be my sponsor. I'd rather go independent, but okay. Fine, I'll race. Lovely, color me thrilled. Just don't bloody let me down, because I'm about to bet a small fortune on you. Uh-oh. Go prepare. Drink some chamomile or whatever the fuck you do. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. Every time before a race, I make sure to drink chamomile. The Palio is above all a race of honor. The winner doesn't just win a reward, he earns our respect as well. So, take your positions and get the fuck going. Oh my god. I didn't think we wouldn't have any time to prepare at all. Whoa, where are we even? Somewhere with a Novigrad? That guy's faster than me. It's not good. The other guy... Oh. We're okay for now, but once the, the stamina runs out, it's not gonna look pretty. I'm trying to multitask here by looking at the the map and the track. Because last time we had that problem where I was on the track, but I wasn't in between the markers. And that caused a bit of, um, the rail. Is this the same track as last time? I don't think so. This is around Novigrad, right? Probably closer to the cities. Uh-oh. Okay, my stamina's running out. Wait, okay, just wait until it's full again. I know it's tempting to not wait. But it's alright. 
Once we get the stamina going, it's all right. Oh, don't know why there was um a yellow circle just now, without a marker. Oh my god. Yeah, the other, the third guy is lagging behind by quite a bit. The second guy is hot on my heel. Do they cheat? Or do they actually use stamina, run out of stamina, just like I do? Oh my goodness, this is a long race. Are we there yet? Oh, we're close. We can't run out of stamina at the end. That's a death sentence. Oh, come on, come on. Cleaver had a good <laughs> for recruiting you. Congratulations. Did you see how close that was? Oh my god. You look fucking amazing. On top of me. Give us a kiss, Geralt. No? Then I'll smooch that roach of yours. That were lovely. And my pay? Take it, you cheeky bastard. Never met a man who earned his coin fairer than you did today. Temple guard, scatter! We gotta get the fuck out of here. Thanks, Geralt. Yeah, this is illegal after all, isn't it? We gotta scram! We can't kill him. Oh! Wait! Uh, no one's angry at me, though. Just the guards killing the bruisers. Okay, well, I'm out of here. Roach, let's go! It's dangerous here. We'll just... get inside. Elvin blood, eh? Hey there. I didn't even see how many coins we got because I was so distracted by... Oh, hey, can we loot the people? Would that be a thing? They're not dying at all, though. They're just fighting. <laughs> Refugee! Taking this chance to get inside. Yeah, there are a few people dying. But you can't loot them. And no one's interested in talking to me. <laughs> Was that it for the, the racing, or would there be more in the future? No, it seems like that's it. That is it. Well, I was really, really close towards the end. Oh my goodness. Huh. But we can get back to Redania's Most Wanted now. It seems like we can actually choose to go to Radovid first, or go to Triss first, right? Because both of these are okay. But it makes sense to talk to Triss first so that we can consolidate all the information we have. We're doing a favor for Radovid, but it's not like we're on Radovid's side. There's not really a need to give him every little piece of information and consult with him and whatnot. Whereas Triss, Triss is somebody who actually looks out for our interests. Do we have to go back to that crummy apartment looking house or? Yes. Oh, that's bad luck. Whoa. Hey, hey horse sons people. I'm gonna kill you. Okay. There you go. Triss, I didn't know you lived next to the um, the comedian people. Who are Nowhere to be found, for whatever reason. Oh, stuff up there too. I can't get that though, can I? I don't really see stairs. No. Hmm. 11 at night and no one's home. I wonder why. Oh, the door's open. What the heck? Should that be a bad sign? Hello? The grey one again. Door's been swinging off its hinges all day. Uh, let's close it. This whole landlady landlord situation <laughs> reminds me of Shawnee. Remember Shawnee's landlady? Oh my lord. Triss? Hmm. What does Triss do in her spare time anyway? Does she just go out and make money by using her sorceress magic? Whoa, what are you doing? Geralt, I've got a problem. Can we talk? Yeah, we can. 
I was just gonna talk about whatever you're doing here, too. Oh. <laughs> yes, Geralt? Feel alright? Hmm, so-so. Why do you ask? We should change the subject. Mm hmm. Been wondering, how's your hand? Your fingers? They'll heal. Listen, it was my idea. I knew exactly what I was getting into. Don't need to worry about me. Yeah, well, I think she suffered the minimum amount of punishment in comparison to, well, the maximum. So it's okay. Hmm. Maybe we should talk about something else. Gladly. I was about to ask the same. I can't help but feel like there must have been better alternatives than to send Triss in just to make her suffer, though. She's a sorceress! We can do, like, illusion magic or something. Want to tell me something? <laughs> I'm coming here, like, hey, Triss, do you want to tell me something? <laughs> okay. Spoke with Radovid. Offered me a contract to find Philippa. The bastard. Wasn't enough that he poked her eyes out? Probably wants to torture her some more. You turned him down, of course. No. Geralt, you know what he did to her. Relax. See, I figured if I agreed, I could look for her without his men getting in my way. Fact is, I'm curious to know what happened to her. So? Learn anything? Mmm, can I say both? Even better, found this. A Mexico crystal? Hmm, it's damaged, but it could still work. And Francesca's equally hesitant. Neither she nor Ida wishes to decide blindly. They'll stop hesitating as soon as we convince Kira and Fringilla. Fringilla's on our side. She'll join us as soon as she's finished some business in Nilfgaard. Wonderful. That leaves Kira. The problem is, I've still no notion where she could be. He's a Karamoran. Jennifer and Triss. Jennifer's never belonged to the Lodge. And Triss? Well, we shall see. I must regain my vision. I can go to Novigrad, then see Arthur de Velista. The word is, Triss is also carousing about the city. You still insist? Phil, pardon my saying so, but you will never regenerate your eyes on your own. Vilgefortz did it. I'm employing the same method, cultivating tissue on precious stones. It's madness. You will need advanced power. You'll put yourself in great danger. That's it. That's all I could recover. The Megascope is a... It's like a video call device, right? So if we have the crystal, we're seeing fragments of the video call. I thought the Megascope, you could also travel with it, right? Because that's what Sheila did at the end of Witcher 2. Remember she had the, the faulty crystal that if you didn't remove it, she would have exploded. <laughs> I get that right? Philippa says she wants to restore her vision? Seems she was planning to grow tissue on precious stones. Makes sense. Found agates covered in blood in her hideout. If she pulled it off, she'd only be the second person in the world to do so. But the bit about the lodge, that's what I found interesting. You want to join up with them? Meaning what exactly? The names they mentioned. All the most powerful sorceresses, former members of the lodge. They clearly mean to revive it. That good or bad? Depends for who. Philip has always said that if magic <laughs> perishes, so shall this world. And the Lodge was to protect the mages and their interests. Radovid and the Emperor, on the other hand, would not be pleased. Both would have to respect our opinions, and neither likes to share power. I'm still in for Philippa plus Saskia ruling the Edern, okay? <laughs> but that's obviously not gonna happen anymore, because where the heck is Saskia anyway? Seriously, okay, Yorveth is nowhere to be found. Saskia is... I guess she's still in the Edern? Hmm. Our opinions? You join them? Really? No. I've got other plans. So, what will you do with the crystal? 
Haven't decided. Ed Radovid would be very interested in it. You're not gonna give it to him, are you? I don't think we need to give it to Radovid. Yes, our our contract, our favor for him is to find Philippa Eilhart. It's not to give him whatever we find in Philippa Eilhart's hideout. So between these two, of course I'd much rather give it to Triss, okay? Radovid is not my friend. Triss is my friend. But I can't keep it for myself. No. Probably better if you keep it. Much better. It'll be safe with me. I'll try to cast a diagnostic spell. Maybe learn something more. Good luck. What are you doing here, with your megascope? Do you need a crystal? So now I gotta tell Radovid what I learned about Philippa, or we can ask Triss about what's on her mind, cause she says she wanted to talk to me, right? We're here already, let's just do it. Why do you have so many butter knives? <laughs> yes, Geralt? What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who is it from? Ingrid Vagelbud's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbud's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. <laughs> you guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. You want me to meet him for you? What are you afraid of exactly? That it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other... Nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what happens when the witch hunters get their hands on you. You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridium? You won't always be there to help. Okay, when you say things like that, and then five minutes ago you were saying, Oh, that was a decision I made myself, it's okay, I could take it. But then you go and say this to me. That just makes me feel like, oh, okay, that's really bad then. We shouldn't have put you up to the task, because... Clearly, you weren't comfortable with being put in that position, even though you said you were. We should have just found another way altogether to get inside the, um, the hideout, as opposed to, you know, pretending you were a prisoner or whatever. Do I want to help her, or do I just want to tell her to not do it? Ow! Uh, of course, we're helping her. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. <laughs> that sounds... sounds like innuendo. Well, it's a secret code word, so, you know, could be the most average of things. Whose idea you think this was? The servants or Vagelbuds? My bet's on Ingrid. Highborn damsels have a lot more time than their servants to read adventure novels. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Okay. Do I want to go to Radovid first, or do I want to go to this one first? Which one's a main quest? How about that? Uh, Redania's Most Wanted. Oh, both of them are side quests. <gasps> what? Oh! Talk to Yennefer about the crystal from Philippa's Megascope. <laughs> Where is Yennefer even? Oh, this wasn't here before, right? Was this like a mutually exclusive thing? Oh, you didn't even give this to me beforehand. Well, that's a shame. Okay. Anyway, they're both secondary quests. What's our main quest right now? Oh yeah, the ambush! Completely forgot about that. <laughs> uh, it's a Novigrad. This one, this one is an Oxenford. So let's go do this one. Yeah, am I right? The fish market. A place that we know very well. I would say so. Um, 
just trying to check out where where the frick Oxenford is here. Here. Right. So Radovid is still there on the ship. Let's go to the fish market then. I don't know why, but something about this house being tilted is... It's kind of cool. Makes it feel stylish. Although I imagine living here is not all that nice. You can't even put a plate on the table without it sliding off. Okay, maybe it's not that tilted, but yeah. Doesn't seem like it's good if you have things that require balance. Meet the Vegel Buds' servant at the fish market. There is a dead body here. What is it? Oh! Oh, these are my swords, right? Yeah. <laughs> they still kept it here after I dropped it last time. Ooh! Mistake. Does that guy want to get me? If you're dropping rusty swords, don't talk to me. We're gonna go meet the Vegel Buds right after we gain a reputation there because of the races. So if this servant was paying attention, he should know exactly who I am. Not as the White Wolf, but as the guy who beat Luke. Luke Vegelbud. Ooh, you should go see a doctor about that cough. They ought to never let your kind in, Novigrad proper. Blah, 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 blah. A million debits and a million credits. Why? That makes two I think we can exchange more of our florins for crowns. How can I be of service? Are you ever going to ask me to pay back my loan? Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. 700. This guy's a gentleman. He's never asked about my loan even once. And it's been 20 years since we got that loan in the first place. Blue tunic. Lots of blue jerkins. Interesting. Oh, well, there's a lot. I can see two already. Wanted to ask you. Aye, how can I be of service? Know who'll give me the best price on trout? But, taint the season for trout. Buy a bucket of oysters. Please the wife like never before. Hmm. Well, it's not this guy. <laughs> Is it the drunk looking guy? Or do we have other choices here? Greetings. Yes? Why is your mustache so black? Your hair's not black. <laughs> Heard you can get fresh trout around here. Cheap. What? Trout? Touch a trout? <laughs> get chewed out. <laughs> Understand? It'll give you a right bollock. <laughs> I was sort of expecting this guy to be the right guy because maybe the drunkenness is an act. And the freaking mustache, like what's wrong with your face? I thought that was a really bad disguise or something, but no. No. Um There's one more here. Double shit. Yeah. No, oh, this guy looks promising. Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient, I gotta be present. Caution would advise... Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. Sick of it all. There was someone this eavesdropping way. on us. It's not far. Double chase. Three in the morning. Great time to be doing shady dealings, huh? That's it. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so this was a ambush. It's a good thing we didn't let Triss come here, huh? Attack me! No! What? <laughs> Just attack me, please. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, I thought you were with them. What did they want from you? I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe, well, 
Recently, someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris, works for the Witch Hunters. Aye, you're surely right, miss. I... It just weren't what I expected since Lady Vagel, bud. This guy's giving away a lot of crucial information without confirming anything. Wait, where's Miss Marigold? Like, there wasn't even any proof that I knew who she was, even though I had the Trout password. Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Vagelbud's valet. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of late. Yeah, Tris. It's not like you're exactly somebody everybody wants to meet right now. It's kind of dangerous meeting you. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the guard, but since the Mage Hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vagelbud bought off the guardsmen, but since the Hunters pay for every mage revealed to them... Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, then whispered a word to the Hunters anyway. How'd Ingrid Vagelbud know to contact Triss, that Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear once the witch hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's, um, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. For what? You can't say that and not tell me what. What afflictions? Come on, spill the beans! <laughs> Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbud can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly, wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. We just got out of a really dangerous situation where Triss almost got her fingers cut off. If the Hunters are after Albert, I doubt some merrymaking will distract them. Geralt, a ball at the Vagelbuds is hardly some merrymaking. Word is, at the last one they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candied petals of blue roses from Nazaire. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. <laughs> it's, it's starting to sound like not a bodyguard job anymore. It sounds like we're going to a ball. Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire, knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Luckily, the elder Lady Vagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. There's only one thing we can do. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. And you're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. <laughs> while you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. Guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, all right? Good luck to you. It's a masquerade ball. Uh. Something I need to do first. Fine. Buy our masks while you're at it. And you should change ball attire. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Ellie House shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. That's the most worried I've ever seen Geralt look. <laughs> oh my. Oh! Put on your doublet, trousers, and boots before going to Triss. This sounds fun. 
This doesn't sound like a dangerous thing, although I don't know how the night's gonna turn out. Buy a fox mask for Triss Marigold. Did we not already have a fox mask? Bird, Harlequin, Wolf. Hmm. I guess we gotta go back to Ellie Hall. We have some doublets back in the stash though, probably. So that part we don't have to worry too much about. What's he doing here? Well, I guess we'll uh we'll look into the ball in a sec then. We'll get back to the rattle bit for now. Fun things are only fun when they're stress-free, right? And we have a lot of other stresses right now, like trying to get Dandelion out of the frickin' prison. What's the levels like? Matter of- <laughs> matter of life or death. Yeah, these are still lower level than the ambush though. Hmm. Well, Ellie Hall's shop is around... Where is it? It's here. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, it's still in Novigrad, so we should buy it first, I guess. And we also gotta go back to the stash if we want to get a doublet, or we could probably just buy it at Ellie Hall, because I'm too lazy to walk back to my stash. Got problem. Unless if it's along the way. Hmm. This doesn't quite seem like it's turning out well, well, what I think it'll freak. turn out like. <laughs> it might be a more of a lighthearted thing. What village are you from? Willows. It's into my area two days road from the Zima. Nilfgaard arrived there just a few ah, winter. We're right that at the stash. All right. Come it's now. fine then. Nothing. Mm. We'll just put these swords in here. And uh maybe I'll keep some bolts. These are crappy. Can I can I sort the items in my stash? No, can't sort my stash. What the heck? Stamina. Oh, racing horse blinders. This is what we got from the race earlier. We can use this. But this one is probably the stamina is too crappy. Okay. Doublet. Courtier's doublet. Which one looks better? Maybe this one. And then Nilfgaardian trousers. Elegant Nilfgaardian shoes. That good enough for you all? Okay. People. Ellie Hall shop. Nilfgaardians are strict masters. Something about Nilfgaardians being. Oh no no, we're going the wrong way. We gotta wrap around here. That punishment for every crime, even if they can't catch the criminal. What are you guys doing here? Just hanging around the um, the campfire. By the way. Oh, I can come in now. I don't know why, but last time, the door just wasn't opening. But now, this time, it's okay. So I can kill you guys. Oh, we've been here before. There was a merchant standing here, and he was being harassed by the thugs previously. Got a problem. Huh? No, I just killed all your friends. Is that okay with you? Okay. Ellie Hall. I was pretty sure we bought every single mask he had last time when we saw him, but maybe he's restocked and got some uh, new fox mask stuff. Duty calls. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know what that's doing there. So nice and sunny today. Oh, at 5 a.m. That's when the sun comes out, huh? Not too many people around, too. That's why it's so nice. Later in the day, everybody starts coming out. But not right now. Not just yet. Ellie Hall! Have we been to this house, by the way? Looks kind of fancy inside. People are sleeping still. Perfect time for me to rob them. Can't rob from the, um, the shelf, though, for whatever reason. Ellie Hall? Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Oh, we've never played cards with you. Glad to take a glance at what you got. 
Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Oh. Yeah, we bought these previously, but uh, not this one. Triss's fox mask. Okay. Skellige tunic. Oh, there's some nice shirts and all here too. Hmm. I wonder if we can wear something Skellige instead of Nilfgaardian. Maybe not. Silver emerald ring. <gasps> what? Oh my god! The troll actually gave me an elf head! Slightly overripe elf head. Troll delicacy. You can't sell it. <laughs> Is that just gonna be stuck in my inventory forever then? Oh my god. Okay, that's kinda... It's kinda morbid. <laughs> Dude, this doesn't weigh too much. Guess I'll keep all these. Okay, thank you, Ellie Hall. Would you like to play cards? Yeah? Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. Haven't played you in a while. Haven't played anybody in a while. Nilf Guardian deck? Sure. I think we got another Gonto Dim here. Yup. Is there anything we can take out? Is there anything we want to take out? 32 cards is a little bit. Um, uh, maybe I'll take out these Arcanian Fire Scorpion. Oh, I have four Impera Brigade Guards. That seems like it's too much, isn't it? Hmm, take this guy out. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And my ability is what? Decoy? Fighting Frost? Medic? One. Medic with a one. Gondro Dim. Good. Regis? Young Emissary? Vesemir? Letho? Zeracanian Fire Scorpion? Cirilla. Mmm. Kind of like what I have going on right now. He has a Northern Realms deck. So maybe we don't have to care too much about Biting Frost? Impera Brigade. This is only good if we can get more than one. Uh, let's take away Regis maybe. Maybe get another young emissary or another guard. That would be ideal. Scorch. Eh, not bad. We can use it situationally. Sheldon's gags. Your ability is to cancel weather effects. Yeah, so me having biting frost probably wouldn't help too much. My ability is to pick torrential rain. Torrential rain is for siege, right? Siege. But he could cancel me out anyway. Hmm. Gonto Dim. Bring all your buddies. We got Siri this time. Oh my god. What? Okay. Well, at least he took his own cards too. He used them much earlier than I thought he would though. Oh my god. Um... Man, I don't... I can't get any more cards. I don't have any spies. I have a medic, but I don't want to get just one back, because getting one back is not gonna... Um, it's not gonna do anything for me. Mmm... Vesemir? No, we have Decoy. Will he have any spies, though? I would definitely love to steal a spy off of him. Ves. Well, I don't feel like we're getting any more Impera Brigade Guards. Hmm... How much do I want to commit? Spy. And there you go. That's what I'm looking for here. Give that to me. Are you gonna pass? Are you gonna keep going? Okay, he's got a little bit more than me. If I give him Sigismund Dijkstra now, he's gonna have 14, which means I need to put down another 5 to make it a tie. Mm, acceptable, maybe. Commander's Horn, and... What else did I get? He decoyed it back. Uh, what's the other card I got? Another Impera Brigade? Okay, well, perfect. Maybe I'll just put it down right now. Yeah? Okay. 
He's got the spy back though. We should be careful about that. Okay. Now would be a good time for me to scorch, right? Uh, this is the first round though. We're all using so many cards in the first round. Are we really gonna be okay? Okay. He's not passing at all though. <laughs> and he can still use the spy back. And I wouldn't be able to get the spy, would I? Oh, but I can get it if I use my medic. Hmm, so maybe we can make him use the spy again. 16, 18. Do I really want to put down more? Commander's Horn. Commander's Horn might be good because... Because we don't have any more close combat cards that are not heroes, aside from the Young Emissary. Um, what cards do I have here? Do I want to commit this much? Really? On the first round? Ah, uh, all in. Okay. Uh, wait, you know what? Commander's Horn... Uh, young Emissary. It's just that if I leave the Commander's Horn, it's not gonna have any effect on Letho or Siri, so I don't know if I should keep it. It's gonna only affect this one, pretty much. Okay, whatever, do this one. Pass! That's okay, too. Give it to me now, so I can get it back next round with Medic. Oh, I could have used my... my uh, Torrential Rain here. Are you really gonna try to beat me? Huh. Mm, I really should have used Torrential Rain, but he could have just cleared weather anyway, so... Maybe that wouldn't have been such a big difference. Okay. Medic? Can you bring back the extra? That was only one round. That was the first round. Oh, he passed. He passed. Mm. Impenetrable fog. Not good for this situation. If I use... Well, he passed, so he can't do clear weather. But I can do this right now. Yeah? So he has a 5. All I gotta do is... Ah, oh, it's a bit of a waste splitting the Young Emissaries up, though. Actually... Um... I think I made a mistake here. Yeah, what I should have done is I should have put down the Zeracanian Scorpion. Because it's a 10, right? And your catapult is an 8? Well, hold on. 8 plus 5 would be 13. 1 plus 10 would be 11. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. Just trying to think of ways to save some points here for the next round, but um, I guess we have to waste it. Unless we use Letho or something. Actually, it would be good to use Letho here because these guys double. But the heroes don't. Yeah? <laughs> Such a waste. Such a waste to use it like this. But we won. Now it's the last round. He has three cards, I have five. Siri. I'm hoping you don't have Scorches or anything like that. Dandelion with the Commander's Horn. Okay. I think we'll be fine. Yeah? Impenetrable Fog. Not a problem for me at all. He has no more cards. Ooh. And there you go. That wasn't so bad. I think we can probably try using some of the other decks sometime too. Mm -hmm. Just for the Nilfgaardian decks, 
I don't know why we don't have any spies, even though the other people with this uh, deck also have spies. Dennis Cranmer. Who is that? Who is that? Well, he's not for Nilfgaardian. Is he a Northern Realms? Dennis? Oh, get in here. Yo. Oh. What am I looking for here? Dennis. A monster? Where is it? I don't see it at all. Oh, right here. Dennis Cranmer. Scoia Tell card because Ellie Hall is an elf? I know how to carry out orders, so you can shove your advice up your coal chute. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much, Ellie Hall. Now I got the mask. Should we head to the nearest fast travel point and get back to Radovid now then? Yeah? That's probably the one right here. We it's have to think a little perhaps. bit about how much we want to tell Radovid though. And is he gonna get angry at me for saying something like, Oh, well, you asked me to find Philippa Eilhart. You didn't ask me to um, give you her crystal. Because that seems like something that could piss him off. And we definitely don't want to make any more enemies. Especially not ones that are kings of entire kingdoms. His oh. Majesty King Radovid is a stern ruler, but a just one. Is he? Is he? Your kind spreads disease, defeatism, and desertion. He's right here. Uh. This is the ship of His Majesty Radovid the Fifth, King of Redania. State your business. I want to see the king. It's about Philippa Eilhart. If that's the case, come with me. But no sudden moves. Got my eye on you. Witcher, any progress? Have you found Eilhart? Um. Mm, I don't. I think we should tell him, cause saying that she's dead is too obvious of a lie. Radovid is not an idiot. Wasn't where your men said, but I did find signs of someone doing medical experiments there. Oh, that's something. Think Philippa tried to restore her eyesight. Verily. Empty eye sockets suit her so much better. So. Wow. Have you any proof? No, but you have my word. <laughs> your word. You give me your word. Sorry, but Eilhart herself taught me to doubt everyone, especially their word. So we've naught to talk about. Farewell. Uh, you act like I care? <laughs> I... Don't? Was I supposed to care that you don't believe me or something? Because I, I really don't. You're the one who made me do this favor for you. I'm not invested in this at all. I just told you what I know and that's it. Ugh, got a sharp pain yeah. in my spine. Maybe it would have gone differently if we gave him the crystal, huh? But it's done now. Yeah? I don't see it, but I think it's at the bottom here. <laughs> failed. That one failed one. Uh, where is it? I don't know where it is, but it's completed now. Here. Well, Radovid would have been an interesting and powerful ally to have if we if we got him to trust us. But as it stands, it's not like I lost anything. Just a little bit of time. I got Horson Jr.'s address off of him, and he got some information about Philippa Eilhart off of me. This transaction is done. This part of the thing is done now, but maybe Triss will be able to um, figure out something with a crystal later on. Mm -hmm. We could go back to the ball thing in Novigrad now, but um, hmm. I'm wondering if I should go do the ambush. I feel like there's a bigger sense of urgency with the ambush, as opposed to going to a ball. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this one next, but... But... 
any question marks we can do along the way or it's a little bit far but maybe what we can do is we'll go to Erston go here go here go here go here and then somehow make it all the way to the ambush point maybe might be a little bit too much though we'll just see how it goes maybe we'll run into a fast travel point along the way that would be ideal here so I guess what I'm gonna do is go to this one Run, Roach. If we're lucky, or unlucky, it's not going to be anything crazy here. Ooh, it's an Andragon Nest. Can I do this on the horse? Doesn't seem like it. Let's get off. We might run into the Arrakis again, huh? Seems like the kind of place where it'll come out. Oh! Pick one! Pick one! Woo! Whoa! Oh my god. I think I've been poisoned. Oh! Right before it died, it poisoned me again. Uh, back in The Witcher 2, we had a very similar quest where once we destroyed the... Or Gotta blow this up if I want to get rid of the Endragas. Yeah, once we tried destroying this, the Arrakis or the big Endragas start coming out. So I'm a little bit worried here, but we'll see. No one coming out to get me? Okay. Monster hair. <laughs> Who knows what we can use that for? Just reminded me though, I did not put the new blinders on Roach just yet. Yeah, this is a double. Better than what I have previously. This one though, it's kind of crappy. Roach, were you scared? Sorry I kept trying to fight while on horseback. That must Come have been on. a scary experience. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Another monster nest. Well, we're in the forest, so that's where monsters live. Makes sense. Is it also Andregas? Yes. Yeah, I can't get them. They're too short. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're not quite getting it. It's too far away. Hey! Ugly bastard. If we get hit even once here, we get poisoned. This is too suspicious though. We've killed so many Andrega workers, but no queen. Where's the queen? Gotta blow this up if I want to get rid of the Andregas. Gross. Oh lord! Where'd you come from? I thought this was too easy, because last time we had the warrior, but this time we didn't even see the warrior until now. Ow. Just die. Ah! Oh, that tail attack! Hit me three times in a row. Well. That wasn't anything too bad, but um, I would be happy if whatever's guarding the griffin gear is not a monster nest. The griffin gear right here, right in front of us. Let's meditate a little bit. A little bit low on swallow potions. Oh, when I was back in Novigrad, I forgot to go to the Kingfisher's Inn to see if we could get some alcohol to make the um, white gall. Hmm, that's something we gotta check out later on. 15 minutes. We good? 